The chair of the House Committee on Legislative Franchises believes the move to revoke the franchise of Suarezug Media Corporation, also known as Sunshine Media Network International or SMNI, will be adopted in the panel. This follows the support of the majority of their members for the resolution urging the National Telecommunications Commission or NTC to suspend the station's operations. I don't want to preempt the committee members uh, on how they're going to decide on the revocation of the SMNI uh, franchise. Uh, but uh, it may be logical that since they asked for the suspension uh, through the NTC, uh, they will also vote for the revocation. One Rider Parkless representative, Ramon Rodrigo Gutierrez, shares the same belief. He is the main author of the bill. The House Committee may tackle it in January 2024 after the congressional break. Yung uh, ating members of committee, I would say divided. Some of them are only willing to go forward with the suspension para mag-investigate further. No? But uh, some members are also of the belief that this is sufficient to for revocation. That's why I filed this bill to bring this uh, to lay it on the table and see where the committee stands. Now, perhaps there are maybe majority of the members who are like-minded that this would be sufficient already for revocation. However, it is uncertain if this will gain support in the House plenary as well as the Senate. SMNI's legal counsel, attorney Mark Tolentino, stands firm that SMNI has not violated any provision of its franchise. He also believes the move to revoke SMNI's franchise will not succeed in the Senate. A bill to revoke a franchise must pass the both houses of Congress and be signed by the President for it to be effective. May support naman kuha ng Senado, but hindi na naman kuha yung majority. Maybe isa, dalawa, hanggang patlo, makukuha niya yan, but majority of the senators, hindi na bayang isa rin yan. The bill to revoke SMNI franchise has been filed due to alleged violations of various franchise provisions such as the dissemination of deliberately false information, transfer of controlling interests without prior approval of the Congress, no report to Congress within days after the transfer, failure to comply with the 30% dispersal of ownership to the public, among others. The plenary has adopted the resolution urging the NTC to suspend the operations of SMNI. The Chamber's investigation on SMNI franchise was initiated due to the broadcast's of unconfirmed information of one of its program hosts, Jeffrey K. Eric Selis, on Speaker Martin Romualdez's foreign travel expenses. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.